Hey, hello, everyone. It's a big pleasure for me to be here, and thank you, Via, uh, for inviting me. Uh, and um, I really, I feel a little bit stressful today, not about the presentation, not about the Dispot, but because of um, our next speaker about Anders, he is there. Yeah, because he was uh, the teacher of our company how to make a good presentation. And now I feel like a student because my teacher is here and I know that his presentations are always amazing. So sorry for this, my teacher. It will be some mistakes here maybe, but I'll try to do my best. And I'll try to do my best to run it. <laughs> have some problems with fonts. <laughs> Already. Okay, so my name is Inga and I'm a head of Go Vilnius and I will share with you about the campaign. Um, I would like to believe you had about it something maybe because it was a little bit popular this summer yeah, and we had a hot summer in the advertising market this year. So a little bit about Go Vilnius, so who we are. So we are the official uh, development agency of Vilnius. Uh, we are, our main uh, stakeholder is Vilnius Municipality and um, our main goal uh, is uh, the international competitiveness of Vilnius. Uh, so we have a lot of KPIs uh, with numbers, it's not numbers here, but uh, our main goal is to increase the awareness of Vilnius abroad, also to develop incoming tourism and the meeting industry, and to improve the experience of tourists and for, of investors uh, here in the city. And uh, so one of our KPI, or one of the main our goal is to increase the awareness and the attraction of Vilnius. So what is the problem? First of all, all the marketers and communicators, they begin from the problem. So the problem is that the awareness of Vilnius is rather low. You can ask me how low it is. So we uh, made the research about the awareness of Vilnius uh, in Germany, United Kingdom and Poland. Um, it's not prepared for presentation, but I saw the data and um, it's not very amazing <laughs> because uh, only four, five percent of uh, foreigners in Germany, in the UK, they can exactly explain uh, what is Vilnius and where is it. Um, others, uh, maybe they know the name of Vilnius, but we think it's somewhere, in, maybe it's the capital of Latvia, they say, or it's somewhere near the Baltic Sea. It's not bad answers. Uh, yeah, so the 4 or 5% uh, knows about uh, Vilnius and where is it. So our goal was to increase the awareness of city and we decided that the main message will be very honest. So the Vilnius is an undiscovered European city and really nobody knows where it is. But when you find, because a lot of foreigners and I think our guests will support me, when you come here you feel that you like it and you love it. Uh, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the decision uh, was to make the advertising campaign uh, the gist part of Europe. So how everything uh, started? Uh, it wasn't the uh, simple way when we decide when we decide to make the advertising campaign when we uh, prepare the brief or for the 
advertising company and then we choose some of the decision. It was not the right way. So everything started from the three guys of, uh, no, two guys and one girl uh, from the uh, advertising school uh, um, who prepared their uh, co-working, uh, not co-working, but their uh, job uh, for this school and it was several years uh, ago uh, and they just put it somewhere on the internet website of the school and it was come. But uh, in the beginning of this year, uh, when uh, Vilnius celebrated uh, its birthday, uh, somebody decided to share this main visual and uh, people started to share it, to discuss, uh, and the discussions were very hot, but a lot of people and the majority of people uh, like it. Uh, uh, our company and my colleagues also saw it first time uh, this day, and as Andrew said, I thought, oh my God, <laughs> it's why not me, <laughs> because why this guy uh, decided to say it about Vilnius, because it was uh, really a very uh, particular message. So we decided to make the integrated marketing campaign because it one was the only uh, main visual uh, and it was a lot of discussion about it. So we decided to make a normal integrated marketing campaign. Uh, so the main message uh, was uh, that Vilnius is an un undiscovered European city and nobody knows where it is, but when you find it, it's amazing. And what is it? Our job was uh, uh, to show uh, the cultural events, the the top restaurants, amazing nature, and etc. etc. Uh, so, our target audience we decided that it will be two countries uh, Germany and United Kingdom, and uh, even we focused not uh, all country but the, uh, London and Berlin. It's the 8th of 2035 and open minded young people. Uh, so, the main uh, uh, traffic uh, we put uh, to the, um, our website, uh, which was uh, rather controversial uh, uh, in the beginning, and then when uh, people make um, some kind of test, uh, we showed uh, all sports, all beautiful sports of Vilnius, like uh, restaurants, like panoramas, and, and so on. Our parks, uh, green spaces, uh, and uh, what was the um, sport of campaign? So uh, the main focus was, of course, on the digital side. Uh, we make the banners, uh, uh, some outdoors. Uh, we communicated with bloggers, and of course, uh, it was discussions about communication to marketing. Of course, it was integrated company uh, campaign with. Uh, communication and marketing. And I just can remember you the video clips. beginning it wasn't our plan to make a video but when we saw the idea we okay let's do it oh sorry yeah. Uh, so, what is uh, about the structure of campaign? So, the main reason was to uh, the main uh, goal was to attract attention. Uh, it's not easier nowadays, yeah. And then to discover the ad uh, advantages of a city, and then of course to invite to visit. So. Uh, we talked about the crisis communication. Of course, we prepared for it and we were ready for it, uh, very ready, uh, because we understood what we do 
and what we can expect. So, of course, uh, uh, our team, uh, first of all, we identify all possible threats. I fought all possible, maybe not all, but not, about 97%, I think. Uh, then it was a challenge for us to find the partners because uh, when you talk about international communication, and it's not so easy because we know uh, particularly about our local market and it could be more difficult uh, about international market. And we, for example, we know uh, who are our influencers here in Lithuania and it could be difficult to understand who is who, for example, in Germany. So it was a challenge for us to find uh, partners. Uh, we have a list of threats and a plan, a plan for every threat, what to do uh, if something will go wrong. And, of course, before starting and after starting, we had a mo monitoring uh, 24-7, all our team, uh, here is Indra, only one member of, our, of my team who is PR manager and uh, she didn't sleep a lot these days, those days, uh, so it really was hard, but we were prepared, so, uh, and our focus wasn't with uh, the Lithuania market. We understood what we can to expect here, because the start was when the first visual ap uh, appeared in the January, and people began to discuss, so we understood what we can to uh, wait here, but um, it was a little bit stress for us because uh, we weren't really sure uh, how uh, things will do abroad in Germany and, and UK markets, but everything were under control. So, before starting, the start of the campaign uh, was on the 9th of August, and before start, I think you, you know what happened here, I've, I talk about Lithuanians, uh, so a lot of politicians, uh, of um, church, and uh, everybody uh, discussed about it, and uh, uh, you know, you are... Uh, communication expert, so you know that everyone knows better than you what to do, yeah? So, of course, there, uh, it was a lot of opinions, and it was really very, very hot here, but we cared about the start, of course, of a campaign. Uh, we were cared about uh, how it will be technically, and uh, how it will be on the opinion. So, did be success. Uh, uh, even before the uh, campaign started, we had um, more, about 1,000 publications in the international media. Uh, and the, how to say, temperature of these opinions was extremely different from the Lithuanians. So it was like a joke for them. It was uh, we said, yeah, it's rather creative. Uh, I put here some quotes from the, uh, from the uh, with, uh, portals, Times, Independent, and, and others. So, of course, what helped us maybe to reach a, such a good result and even better we ex than we expected, um, uh, somebody, somebody here in Lithuania decided that it could be a problem uh, this campaign and the visit of Pope. And of course, uh, uh, it was a little bit funny for us because we understood that it's nothing uh, Pope will visit Lithuania after campaign will end. So the target audiences are extremely different, uh, the markets are very different, so, uh, but uh, in the international media it even helped us because uh, the person of Pope, of course, attracted the attention even more than we expected. So, a little bit about numbers, you like numbers, I hope, especially when we talk about money. Uh, so, our budget, was in the beginning it was it was five, 56 
5,000 euros. Uh, when we increased it in the middle zone, it's about 76,000. Uh, we have, for this day, we have more than 1,000 publication in foreign media about not it, it's not only about the campaign and only about the G-spot, but it's also about Vilnius. Uh, and uh, the audience we reached is, is about 700 million. And uh, we have our monitoring, monitoring tool. So it calculated that it's about seven, the value of this uh, publication is about 7 million euros. And the audience we reached on social media is more than 1 million persons. And the engagement rate was 4%, 4.2 maybe, when it's usually about 1%. 1% and the conversion rate was uh, also about 11% and uh, more than 60, I, know, I didn't mention it, but more than 60% of persons who viewed our videos, they do it till the, till the end. And so, and we have more than, more than 100 visitors uh, on our website. So this is the numbers. We have uh, more data <laughs> inside, so I would like to share with this one. So here we are. Thank you. Even though the campaign is officially over, um, it sounds like the whole idea, that phrase, the G-spot of Europe is going to live a long and happy life well behind, beyond um, the campaign itself. Are you all planning to measure and track um, that phrase or the residual impact of the campaign over time, or is this um, the end of the project? Yeah, it really became popular. It, you even can find a poster uh, uh, on the one of the buildings in Vilnius. We wrote that they are the, the spot of Vilnius. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there are a lot of advertising on f of private uh, uh, labels. They also advertise or copy this, this company. So it became really popular. But our main goal, we just came back to our main goal. So our main goal is to increase the awareness of Vilnius. So what we will monitor and what we will check time to time is the awareness of, of Vilnius. And it's, uh, I don't believe that uh, the only campaign will help us a lot. Of course, there is a lot of action should be done, but uh, we will monitor and check uh, the awareness of Vilnius. Just a quick question. Have you actually seen increase in tourism? After the campaign? Uh, we see the increase of tourism each year. So we have increasing numbers about five years. So and we increase about 5% each, each year. And even more, even more this year, about 7%. But it's not enough for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I have one question. Uh, well, basically, this uh, situation, this controversy, was started by the former mayor of Vilnius, who is now the wannabe mayor of Vilnius. And he doesn't like really the, the current mayor and the people like Inga, who have great ideas, because he himself is a really great PR guy, but he doesn't like when some other people have great PR ideas. So basically, that's how it happened here in Lithuania, because we have elections coming in March, and he just criticized this so much, appealing to conservative voters we still have in Lithuania, because this is a really Catholic country, so this issue really was politicized. So my question to you is, did you expect such a re reaction, or maybe you, you were secretly waiting for it, because this controversy really helped to attract the, the attention of foreign media. Because without this controversy, maybe the foreign media attention would be less. 
Uh, when I um, said to you about the threats and about our preparation for crisis management, uh, uh, crisis communication, uh, I said that uh, we were very prepared and about 97%, uh, so 3% was the gap. So this uh, politician you mentioned was one of the 3%, three percent, so we, were ready, uh, we weren't ready, but he will be so active. Yeah, but of course we were ready, but it will be controversial here in Lithuania. And as I said, it wasn't uh, our plan just to, to make this controversial. It was natural, but it's bad. good. Okay, um, so I've been living here for one year now, I'm Brazilian. So as a foreigner, I can say that I love the the advertising, but at the same time, I know the struggles of being a foreigner here, especially because I know that there was a big bus on the, on the ad, especially with the elder generations, which are also the same people that, like, give a hard time for foreigners, let's say, because it's hard to communication, like, they don't know English. So, I mean, how do you see the ad actually improving the situation? Uh, so I began from the goals of our company and of our agency. So um, uh, maybe if everything would be perfect, uh, we had a little bit less job. So of course uh, uh, what we had from foreigners who come here as a tourist. They really love the city and we even didn't expect it. It will be so nice. But also we have some issues with the experience of foreigners. Uh, with foreigners who come here for a short time or to live here and uh, we try to improve it. I, it will be uh, much longer to explain everything for you what we do for it and it is a long way of course to improve the situation but we understand we we make a researchers we make the focus groups with foreigners and um, there are some small problems there are some huge problems and we try to solve it any more questions okay the last question as I understand this, the idea came from a student yeah. in an advertising program, and it got out, essentially, into the media. Uh, why did you decide to continue with it? Because you could have just said, it's, you know, that was it, it yeah, just we're not going to do this. So what was your rationale for continuing with the G-Spot campaign? Uh, because um, this main visual, which people um, started to share, it wasn't the campaign. So, and we understand that if it's a good idea, it was a good idea, and people uh, began to discuss about this main visual, but if we wanted to read our main audience, target audience, we uh, have to make more so and it should be integrated because uh, when people saw this main visual they began to discuss to, about you um, they like it or we don't like it the sport not the sport but our main goal was to increase the awareness of Vilnius so it wasn't enough just to show the G sport of Vilnius and this main visual our goal was to uh, make tracking to the website and to show them why Vilnius is amazing Really exactly. I will just add that uh, this is not just a simple student's work. This, uh, uh, this particular student is now one of the creative directors, a creative director of one of the biggest advertising agencies in Vilnius, and the uh, material was developed in guidance with his lecturer, who is, happens to be a Peruvian world-winning uh, advertising uh, uh, person <laughs> so who did a lot of campaigns <laughs> Oops. So, it's a sign <laughs> so um, it's a sign that the what what we are saying is very correct <laughs> well I want to thank you and I want to thank Inga in particular because uh, she put uh, this presentation together in a very short notice and it's a big topic for us because it's like steaming hot right now and it's very interesting for communicators 
And um, also I want to thank for the bravery for actually making this happen because not everybody dares to do some things and doing tourist marketing is a big challenge and, and, uh, and yeah, and uh, I guess it's, it's, it's a big job. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you.